Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series and my name is Anil. This is basically the sixth video. In the last five videos, we learned lots about how we can set up the project, how we can call the APIs, how we can just uh, choose the postman and how we can just interact with the APIs and all things. The all videos links are given in the description box. You can watch this video first, then you can just move on this video if you are new visitor. All right. So now let's check out the points of the video. So these are the basically four major points that we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we have to import the reactive forms in the module file. Then we have to make a simple HTML form with the help of bootstrap uh, because the bootstrap will help us to make a good design as well as save our, our time also. Then we have to make the form groups. Then we will get the values also from the form on the TS file. All right. So first of all, let's go inside the app.module.ts file and import your uh, reactive form just import something from and just use here at the rate angular and forms all right just find here reactive form module and let's register this form inside the imports like this perfect after that you can close this file there is no more work okay now let's go for the uh, bootstrap for form and uh, let's get the a simple form oh this one is uh, pretty simple so we can just copy it and we can just directly paste it inside the app to uh, app restaurant dot component dot uh, html file like this for a moment let's uh, i'm just going to comment the form tag because uh, we need some important thing before using this because otherwise it will just give you the error all right so now you can see that this is a simple form but we can just remove the extra things like i don't need this checkbox here and uh, i don't need the password also and i don't need the uh, sm small tag also so now this is a pretty simple form all right so before using this uh, form tag we have to add something in the ts file so just come here and try to just import something from um, at the rate angular forms this one just find the two file for uh, first one we have to use the form group and second one is the form control all right and now let's uh, define a form name like uh, we can define a form name like mm -mm, add resto like this and just define a new form group and this form group basically take a uh, object as in parameter so we can just define the our uh, form controls like we have a three form controls here you can see that the list the name address and email all right id is not required as it will automatically generated with our json server apis so we can just put the name like new uh, form control and by default value is uh, blank all right so just define two more so let's uh, define the email and we can also define the address oh perfect after doing this let's copy this form name and uh, make a form binding with it all right so just use here form group and uh, let's bind it with the uh, form name like this all right so now whenever you just come on the add form you will see this is working fine with the form tag also so uh, now let's just give him more space and we can remove these two things they are not so important for a moment and uh, first tag will be gonna name we can just remove it this field also so we can just put here name and type can be text simply all right so just enter name as an uh, the placeholder name all right this is now more simple and uh, we have to add a one property form control name all right and it will be the name and this will directly bind this name with this field all right you want to see how if I'm just going to put here some default name like uh, uh, 
KFC and something else then you will see this is shown here all right so uh, in the upcoming videos uh, we will just provide the validation and all with these form controls all right so uh, now let's make some copy for this one just this is for address and this is for the email all right so just make here uh, email and uh, we can also put here name email and here just define here enter email and the same for we can define the address enter address and form control and can can be also address this uh, like this so that's okay for now and oh I don't know why this is appearing here so I can just remove it just put here address like this yeah so after that uh, let's open the console here and uh, if I'm trying to submit this form this is not possible because we have to add the ng submit uh, event here so let's add here ng submit and this will basically event that's we have to put inside the bracket and uh, we can also define here the form name so I can just write here the form name is collect test2 right and add a function so let's define this function inside the ts file like this and uh, just write here console dot one and here we can write here this dot add resto dot value all right so that we can just catch all the values whenever i'm trying to submit now their all fields are blank so that's why this is like look like this so i can just add here like uh, kfc kfc at the rate test dot com and address is like noida for a moment now you can see that we are able to get these values inside our uh, component.ts file and uh, in the upcoming video we will see that how we can just send this data to the apis and uh, after that we can just get uh, this uh, data inside the listing also all right so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care